So this is that's the longest that I will have this job. Okay, now the shortest can be tomorrow. Hey guys, I'm sitting up here trying to vlog. I have a lot to talk to you guys about. The sun keeps coming out and going in, so it makes me look a little brighter. Ignore the bed over there, if you can see it, if you notice it. And ignore my little stuffed animals. Just, just ignore. Let's get into some of the things that I want to talk about. It is really looking too bright. Okay, let me adjust right quick. Okay, I I didn't adjust because the sun just went down. Up, oh, it's coming back out. I, I just y'all just bear with me in this clip. Okay, just just bear with me. Um, I wanted to talk about Diddy. I wanted to talk about Diddy. Man, we're gonna save that till after I'm off. I don't know if I've told you guys where I work or what I do because there are some issues there that I want to discuss with you guys. Okay, so the second job, I basically just work in retail merchandising. Almost, and it is at a popular place. And I, I've i never done any type of work like this before, even in my younger years. I mean, it's cool. It's it's very easy. It's very easy to me. It's the people there that is going to make me stress the fuck out because no morals, no integrity, no nothing. Really, people in general. So now, this is my first time working around the public like this, okay? Like, in the public eye, talking to people and everything and I mean like basically what me and one of my friends talk about is and it's true there's a lot of people that ain't shit there is a lot of people that ain't shit and it's shocking I mean you really want to give somebody the benefit of the doubt to be a, a good basic human and they're not they're they're really not and it's just, it's disappointing. It's disappointing. I blame it on the internet and social media. But, and of course, they could just be a complete a-hole. I haven't seen people just be this so full of it in my life. Secondly, I work around a lot of youngsters. That's the second thing. Third is the micromanaging is on tens. Maybe it's because they're so used to talking to kids so much that they just have a certain tone that they always use. But it's very obvious that I'm going to have to check that. I know that I can give a certain look and people will know that they need to back the fuck up. And I know last night that happened. I have let things fester. And so last night I just basically really had it. And thank goodness I'm off today because I think that I would have called out today because I need a break and I don't even know if I'm going to go tomorrow. I bet you I'll go tomorrow, but I mean, I might go back there, but I think that they have activated RiRi and so with them activating RiRi, I might be also walking out of that place. After being there just a few minutes. Yeah, stuff is getting real. I do not need this type of stress. I am not paying my bills with this job. This job is to add to my savings because you know that I'm moving. 
um, next year. So this that's the longest that I will have this job. Okay, now the shortest can be tomorrow. And to pay off some credit cards. That is what this job is for. Okay, I just want to pay off credit cards quicker. I really want to pay off the credit cards before I move. So I'm kind of trying to accelerate the process by having this second job. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very micromanagey, lack of communication. I know that this is everywhere, but it's just seeing it to this depth is insane. When I was saying in my vlog that, you know, I, I can really pop off, it, it, it's going to happen. It, it's just only when. That, that's, that's really the thing. It's going to happen. It's just when is it going to happen. All right, guys, so I took a nap, and I woke up late. I am mad at myself because there are things that I need to do. So right now, I am cleaning the kitchen. I am just noticing flies. So anyways, this Diddy situation, which now I'm glad that I waited a few days because it, it was a few days later from, um, you know, the graduation. It's a few days later. And uh, he also sent out an apology video, which I watched and nowhere near believe it at all. I do not. I do have some questions, though, on it, but we'll get back to that. Anyway, let's start from the beginning with the Diddy video because... First of all, I believed Cassie all the way. 100% believed her even before seeing the video. But now that I see the video, I do not like uh, DV. I do not like it at all. I don't like, you know, hitting, none of that. Any type of abuse, I do not like it at all. And it is triggering. I've never been abused in a relationship, but yeah, I did not like that. And I don't know what can come over him to even have that amount of rage to do that to someone and to do that to her. And then to kick her after she was down is just crazy. And then drag her. Oh, my goodness. The, that's pissed off. I, no. I do not. Diddy has pissed me the fuck off. And then that, uh, that one game banger that said that Diddy was supposed to pay him to kill Tupac. I guess he killed Tupac, but Diddy never paid him. Something like that. He better not have had anything to do with it, even though I did suspect it. But just to get confirmation, I have zero sympathy for Diddy. I, I do not care what happened to that man. He was wrong. I'm glad that Cassie is living happily ever after. I can't believe all the stuff that she went through. I remember one time, um, this is like near the beginning stages of when me and Patrick was talking. And we went to this one club and there was an argument or a fight between a guy and a girl outside. And I really wanted to get out the car and because uh, we were about to leave but I wanted to get out the car because that guy hit that girl and she just fell to the ground I wanted to get out and go kick his ass that that's instinct knowing that I probably would not be able to kick his ass or I probably will but it's just you know Patrick was just like stay out of it it's none of our business and so we left but I mean I was like did we need to go because I cannot I cannot see this happen in front of me at all. I cannot see that stuff happen in front of me because it's going to make me want to do something about it. Anyway, so now I guess that he is not in the United States. I don't think that he's ever coming back to the United States. They're saying that he is probably in Bali with Russell Simmons. So, oh my gosh, hot flash. I guess he's going to just be living in Bali. Like, this is just so weird. I see a fly. Shoot. 
Oh my god, I see two of them. Uh-uh. Where are they coming from? This is why I don't keep real plants because I feel like real plants will attract flies. I am just wondering if he's just gonna live forever in that valley. That that is just this stuff is crazy. And you know what? I wonder if he even has something to do with Biggie, Tupac and Biggie. And the reason why I say that is because they died like six months apart, six to eight months apart, or something like that. It is a couple of more days later. Um, I definitely turned on the camera today because I have a lot to do. I don't know what's wrong with my cable, my internet, um, but it stopped working like three hours into me doing my job. So I haven't been working from yesterday and I can't work today until a technician comes out. I have to have... Uh, um, GE appliance specialist come out and fix my dryer because my dryer stopped um, drying the clothes. That's what happened to my last dryer. And now this one is all messed up. So someone is supposed to come out for that. Actually, they're supposed to call me to schedule an appointment because I missed the first appointment. And it's not that I missed it. They had the wrong address. Long story. So now I got to do that process over again. And yeah, um, I'm off tonight from my second job. Thank goodness. Yeah, I'm going to be able to edit. I'm going to even edit this video and put it out like I really want to put it out as soon as it's done. But I'm going to wait until like it's a morning time. So I don't know if it's going to be Saturday morning. Hopefully Saturday you guys are seeing this. Yeah, let's go to the kitchen and talk some more. Okay, so it is so crazy how the year is really half over, guys. So I'm going to be tidying up, cleaning, and talking to you guys. So, um, a, like a week ago, I got an email from, it's saying from the Biden administration, and so one of my loans, was forgiven and it's my more recent one it's when I went to school for business accounting and so that loan was forgiven but not my um oldest loan but it still it still is possible for that one to be forgiven but trust me when I say that I am so happy that that loan was forgiven I don't even have to worry about it at all now, the main thing is this oldest loan, my first loan. That, if that can get paid off, top tier. Gosh, let that get paid and I will be a happy camper. I have had that thing for over 20 years. So, it would be nice if that gets forgiven. I hate dishwashers in apartments. They never really work. They never really work. I'm telling you. I've never had one that just fully worked. All right, guys. So I am going to end this video right here. And I'm going to start another vlog. Um, spend the day with me. So hopefully you will stay tuned to that video. And this video should be coming out tonight. When I get off work, I'm going to finish the little bit of tweaking that I need to do with the editing, and then it should be uploaded to you guys, and you'll be seeing it in real time. So stay tuned for that, and hopefully I will see you in the next video.